in archaeology, we see the real hidden lives. So we're going to go around and see where they lived. I've never been to Mount Vernon before. And when you walk through the mansion or the slave quarters, you see that most of the places are defined by the people. And I've never really communicated that with my, my students. I've never told them that place is defined by people. And I hope to use that in different units that we do and talking about different places and how, how you can learn about people through studying those places and how people define those places as well. Well, don't forget, you lived where you worked. Who were the skilled workers? The men. And most of the females are agriculturalists. So the tour was really like, this is the information, this is the history, I'm going to tell it to you. Now, Washington really wanted um, there to be positive incentives for working. And the activities were much more, what can you, as an observer, as an intelligent person who has some amount of background knowledge, deduce from this without me telling you anything, just what can you see in the situation here. All right, we're looking at things. All right, start talking. I'll start writing. We do have some guiding you don't questions. Know the questions. You guys, do you have your detective hats on? I don't yes. notice them. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, Such close quarters, just a common little cough, common little yeah. sneeze. In fact, everybody here. And there's not really a lot of ventilation. Yeah. Right. So and it's dark. Very dark, probably a little damp. Yeah, they didn't have these lights. The windows, like, cross ventilation there. Yeah, but that's the only. Because yeah, yeah. there are these windows. Yeah. And the domestic room. Like, that's the only view. Because I was thinking yeah, you'll stay away from the kitchen. And you might be where the main yeah. slave woman in the house mm -hmm. might, that might be, have been her quarter. Mm -hmm. oh. We were supposed to put what we knew behind, right? So we went with a clear okay. mind and we were um, assigned into groups and we had daily life with the slaves. She told us to go in as, a, as foreigners and look at the objects there and analyze them, like why were they used, why do you think this was here, what is this, which I really enjoyed and I think it would be great to use with the students as well because it engages them like automatically with the material. It's like really transferable to any sort of place, even if it's some, some place that we haven't studied or a place that, that I personally don't know a lot about going into it.